Welcome back, everybody. This Week in America, website thisweekinamerica.us. As mentioned on our program today is Dr. Susanna Moore Gentry Bell. She's a licensed pastoral counselor, an ordained minister, board certified state, and national counselor in mental and behavioral health. She's a former secondary school educator and counselor. Today, she is the founder and director of Restoration Counseling Ministries located in Browns Summit, North Carolina, and author of the book, Living in the Presence and the Principles of Christ, Discover Your Personal Significance in Life. Dr. Bell, welcome to This Week in America. Great to have you with us on the program. Thank you very much, Mr. Brett. Yeah, well, please call me Rick, and it's a pleasure to have you with us. And so many interesting things to talk about in the book. And, and let's let's start with, you talk about knowing your divine purpose in life. How do we go about doing that? And I can probably start by asking you, how did you come to that place in life where you knew what your divine purpose was? Well, I, uh, I looked at my life and I had to answer two questions. Uh, two questions I felt like that every Christian has to answer for himself. Uh, do Christians really know what that purpose is in life? Do they really appreciate who they are in Christ? And, and what will it take to get us uh, uh, the body of Christ to realize who they are so they can walk in that their destiny. And I realized that uh, I had to come to grips with who I am in Christ, how much he loves me, how much he cares. Then I could move into my d- divine purpose until I realized how much he cared about my life and what I do. I realized I was just living in his presence but until I decided to walk in his divine principles, then my life was not going to have the power and momentum that I needed to get through my journey. How long of, of transformation, how long a period was that for you when you decided, here's what I need to do to get this, get this purpose back in my life? And then you finally thought, OK, I'm now on the right track. I really think I'm where I need to be. You know, it took longer than I would expect or hoped it would, because I think we go through our earlier years, our teenage years, our twenties, our thirties, and and on and on, and we don't really stop and see what God's purpose is. Well, it was really late in my life, and I looked at people around me, and I saw they were older, you know, 60, 70, and they were still doing the same things that they did before they received Christ. And I started wondering, when will the body of Christ have the maturity and the power to really aggressively move forward to maintain a better state, to rise above their current depression, um, uh, circumstances, situation, money problems? And I realized that it took more than just conversion a conversion experience. It took me a long time. I mean, I was out of college. I had my children. Um, I must have, my kids must have been in college. I have three sons. So it was that late for me. My stu- my, my children were in college. And I said, you know, I can't live this roller coaster life up today, down tomorrow, waving in and out with the circumstances, the situations around me. And I said, there must be more to Uh, living with power, living in my highest level of life possible than this. You know, they're probably, okay. Yeah. They're probably people who are listening going, yes, that's where I am, where, where Dr. Bell was. And I need to get where she is, but I, I don't know how to get from here to there. The nice thing in the book, living in the presence and principles of Christ, discover your personal significance in life. And that the book is available at Amazon. The book is available information at our website this week in America dot us. Dr. Bell's website is is rest counseling ministries dot VP web dot com. That's a lot. And if you're not able to write it down, you can get that information at our website this week in America dot us. You really sort of guide us through where you were and, and how we get to that point. So it, it's really a roadmap what to find out what our purpose is. It is, it's, um, I, I feel like people need to realize that their ups and downs in life are coming because they haven't reached the fullness, the maturity of their walk in Christ. 
So they're going to counselors. And by the way, this book is a counseling tool. I mean, it's counseling in a book. If I had had this when my kids were growing up or in my earlier married life, I would have been a genius by now. <laughs> but I had to rethink. I had to, I, I do, I call them the three R's. I had to rethink my present condition. Why, why am I here? Then I had to reject. I had to reject those old principles, those old ways of thinking that did not prosper and promote me into a higher level of life. And then I had to renew and I had to review, to review uh, what got me here and how I can move forward further. Well, I learned that it took a soul transformation to get me to a higher quality of life. I had to transform my soul because when I was saved, God automatically transformed my spirit. My spirit was brand new. I mean, I received the full uh, transformation in my spirit, but in my soul, he said, work out your own soul salvation. And I think that's where many of our, our believers miss it because we're waiting for God to do something and he's waiting for us to do something. He was waiting for me to receive the principle of healing. He's waiting for us to receive those principles, which are really teachings, promises that he gives us in his word. And then we can rise above that thing. We can conquer that thing. But we're sitting back in our comfort zone waiting for him to do it. And he's saying, I have recreated you in my spirit, in my image, and I'm thing that I gave Jesus. And why aren't you using it? You see what I'm saying? So I had to yes. learn to use the, the power principles uh, that he taught, that he teaches in his word. And that's how I began to move forward was to rethink where I was, uh, renew, and to review. So I had to come out of that old way of thinking into uh, a new way of thinking and, and thank God that I did because my husband, you know, is deceased and my children were needing me and I'm like on this roller coaster and I had to find peace. I had to find joy. I had to find a way to walk in a higher calling in Christ. Uh, that's what he created me for, to walk in a higher level. He pulled me out of the world to give me something better so that I can operate my life to fulfill the journey that he gave me here on earth. And you can't do that if you're frustrated, if you're confused, if you're um, every day seems to be a mountain to climb, you can't do that. But yeah. when the joy of the Lord comes because we have begun to renew who we are in Christ by walking in his principles of change, then I was able to find a deeper joy. You're listening to This Week in America, our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Information there and our guest on the program, Dr. Susanna M. G. Bell. Her book is called Living in the Presence and Principles of Christ, Discover Your Personal Significance in Life. You talk in the book about being able to recognize that everyone has a spiritual net worth. It's an interesting comment. Explain exactly what that means. Everyone in Christ has a spiritual net worth. He gave, God gave it to us through his grace. The grace of God revalid, revalidated us. Um, we knew that we know that we have a physical sense of being. We may even have a large bank account. Uh, we have a, a, a car. We have a house. We have land. We have things. We have things. But until we realize that God gave us a spiritual network and we have to see ourselves the way that he sees us, until we can see ourselves the way that God sees us and believe in ourselves the way that he believe, believes in us, we will always be looking for answers. We'll never know who we really are. We'll have a failure self-identity rather than a success identity. So when you know your net worth in Christ, it is given to us by grace. He, he created us in his image. He gave us all of the power, the strength, the wisdom, understanding that he gave Christ. So 
So what is First uh, John four seventeen says, as he is, so are we in this world. So we are to operate like Christ in this world. And so we are to live like Christ was still here on earth in person, with, in, in, in a personal way with his ministry. But we are uh, the personal net worth is knowing and living and walking in who he says we are. Our friends call us a lot of things. Yes. <laughs> Teachers call you things, you know. People don't like you, call you things. But that's not who we are. We are spirit to spirit with God. And he says we are valuable. He says we are deeply loved. He says we are highly valued and totally significant. He says that we're more than conquerors. Um, he loves us and gave his, gave, he gave his life for us through his son, Jesus. So he gave us the Holy Spirit to guide us, protect us, comfort us, keep us, teach us. Our spiritual network says that we're ambassadors in Christ. We are mighty in Christ. He says we're more than conquerors. And he said he will withhold no good thing from us. He said, we are fearfully and wonderfully made. So no matter whether you're skinny, you're fat, you're tall, you're short, <laughs> you're fearfully and wonderfully made in Christ. So the world beats you down, tell you don't look good, you act bad. You... That's not who we really are. We are fearfully and wonderfully made in Christ. And he endowed us with all of his uh, spiritual blessings and gave us favor and transferred the, the riches of Abraham to us. So we, we have to realize that we are blessed, we are fortunate, we are favored, favored in Christ. And, and I think the Greek call it uh, uh, charis, charis, which means blessed, uh, fortunate, uh, favored, to be jealous of, to be made envious of. You talk and about in, in the book, Living in the Presence and Principles of Christ, Discover Your Personal Significance in Life. And you talked about life comes along and, and, and broadsides us from time to time. And you, and you talk in the book about negative experiences, negative thinking, guilt, life's disappointments. I got a couple of minutes left in the program. How difficult is that to to make sense of that and to live with it? And, and more importantly, to, to live beyond that, to not let that derail us or take away this this purpose, the newfound purpose that we have in our lives. We have to realize that we were bought with a price, that we are not our own, that we are children of God, that we don't belong to the world. We belong to God. When he, when he uh, validated us, he took us out of the world and put us in the God class with privileges and, and, and rights uh, that we must learn how to operate, to use to operate in this earthly realm. So we are citizens of both heaven and earth. We live on earth, but we commune with heaven. And in his heavenly teachings, he tells us that, you know, I want you to come out of mediocrity and I want you to come out of lack, poverty. I want you to use the principles of, of, of giving. I want you to use the principles of healing. Healing is a principle. Self-worth is a principle because we've been transformed in Christ. So he's saying, I want you to look at your life and your way of walking and talking and acting, you know, and change it. Flip the script. The world says, um, you're nobody. But Christ says, I am more than a conqueror. The world says, you don't have any money. But he says, but my God showed us that we were rich and prosperous through the riches of Christ, through the richness of Christ. So we're rich in Christ. We don't have to have money in our pocket to be rich. So when we flip the script, when we hear these negative, uh, self-defeating uh, words in our, in, our, in our mind or somebody's talking that way, then we're supposed to come back with the word of God that defeats and refutes all of those negative expressions. And unless we read the word, pray, meditate on the word, uh, hear, listen to hear from Christ, and we will, from the Holy Spirit, we will not know who we are. And I think that's where the body of Christ is today. Uh, many of them, not all. Uh, 
they don't know who they are. They go to church just to, to hear a word, but until you begin to internalize and act on that word, you're going to live a defeated life. Time going by way too quickly. I got about a minute or so left in the program. And at the end of the book, and the book is Living in the Presence and Principles of Christ, Discover Your Personal Significance in Life. The book is available at Amazon, available at Dr. Bell's website. I'll give you that website in just a couple of seconds. Available information at our website, This Week in America.us. At the end of the book, you've got a seven-day intercessory prayer mm-hmm. journal. Yeah. Talk about the importance of prayer and the importance of, of, of journaling, of of documenting this, of writing this down. Yes, intercessory prayer defeats the 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 hmm, the spirits that Satan uh, imposed on his people. He wants us to be defeated. Satan wants us to live a defeated life. Woe is me. I'm so depressed I can't get out of bed. Satan enjoys that kind of thing because he knows that we will have no uh, uh, power to walk uh, uh, and to witness for Christ. So the, the journal then addresses many of the areas of life from day to day to have people to pray about different topics on different days, sort of as an intercessory way of defeating the, the spiritual, the evil uh, kingdom of Satan in our lives. For example, on Sunday, you know, the first Sunday day of the week, we're praying for our pastors, our members, our leaders, our teachers, our families. On Monday, we're praying for um, uh, sickness and those who are, you know, need uh, healing and those who are impaired in any way, you know, physically, mentally defeated. And on Tuesday, we have a different list of things that we pray for every day of the week. And I just feel like if Christians could inter- intercede for those who of us who are having those difficulties, then, you know, more one can put a thousand to flight and more and two can put 10,000 to flight. <laughs> exactly. So we can free some people to enjoy their day if we intercede in these areas of need. Dr. Susanna Bell has been our guest on This Week in America, nationally recognized psychotherapist, accomplished author, founder and director of the Restoration Counseling Ministries in Browns Summit, North Carolina, author of the book that we've been discussing on This Week in America, Living in the Presence and Principles of Christ, Discover Your Personal Significance in Life, the book available at Amazon. It's available at the doctor's website, which is rest, R-E-S-T, Counseling Ministries, all one word, dot vpweb.com and information at our website this week in america.us you can get information on the book and uh, link on directly to dr bell's website dr bell thank you so much for joining us on the program i, I, I appreciate to close it with these words is it okay uh, yeah, certainly I, I just want to close with these words the purpose of the book is to give christians an opportunity to look in a deeper to to, to, to look inside and to uh, form a deeper, intimate relationship with Christ and to know who we are in Christ that we're totally loved, highly valued, and, and completely significant, and that we need to transform our way of thinking to walk in the fullness of the, of the um, journey that we're in in Christ to transform our minds. And it's good, too, for Bible classes, for um, Bible studies, for, for family study, for empowerment groups. I think everyone could get uh, quite a bit from this book. And I thank you so much for having me on. I thank this. you for sharing it. The book, again, is Living in the Presence and Principles of Christ. Discover your personal significance in life. Our guest on the program, Dr. Susanna Bell. Dr. Bell, thank you for joining us on the show. And, of course, information at our website, thisweekinamerica.us. <laughs> 